Well, good morning, guys. Back out here once again, working on the trailer. We got it all painted yesterday. It looks really good. The wheel wells were the only spot where it kind of looks a little rough, but other than that, I think the paint job looks good. There's like four layers of black and like five to six layers of clear coat on that thing. So hopefully it lasts a while. But today I've got a few things to take care of. We need to put new wiring in the trailer. We need to put the trailer lights back on. We need to hook up the roller and winch, which got it hanging in the tree over there when I was painting it. And then we need to tackle the bunks. So we got a few things to take care of. We'll see how far we can get today, but it should be pretty easy. It's just kind of putting everything back together. The wiring on this trailer previously, it was okay. It looked like it was working. I mean, all the lights worked, but I really wanted to replace these. They are pretty cheap, pretty easy to do, especially on this trailer. So I figured might as well spend a little bit of money, you know, 15, 20 bucks on some new trailer wires and get it done right and put new in. So then it's just one less thing to go wrong in the future. So okay, get these wires stripped down to where I need them to go. All right, now I have to remember how I got these out. Just gotta get the ground loop connector put on there. Now that was probably the most difficult part of this whole thing was getting that all figured out. So. Now all we have to do is run all of these wires to their appropriate locations. I've got quite a bit of excess here, so I'm gonna just cut it maybe a little bit long, but that's okay. All right, so we've got our heat shrink that we're gonna throw on here. And I've got my connector. Well, the trailer lights took a little longer than I anticipated or hoped it would take, but I got them on there. The wiring is a little weird on them. Uh, I probably could have made the wiring a little bit easier if I drilled some holes into the frame, but I didn't really want to do that. So here's what we got. I think it's it's not the prettiest job in the world, but I think it's going to work. It'd be nice if there was a hole right there to go straight into where the lights go, but that's kind of how it was when I got it. So that's kind of what we're rolling with there. I could have gone under the frame on the backside, but either way, I think I like this way better. It kind of keeps it up and away from snag so i think it's gonna work now let's get the rest of this put back together there we go we got the spare we got the winch and roller on there and all the lights are done so the trailer i think it's pretty much good to go at this point uh, I don't have the jack on there because with this trailer being so light, I'm really not going to need the jack and it's a tailgate denting jack and the wheel drags when I go to back up a steeper area. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the jack yet. I might just keep this thing on like cinder blocks um, on the tongue for now, but I might actually end up getting like a fold away jack of some kind. I don't know. I'm not crazy about the kind that you can't fold down I, I just I've never liked that kind so I don't know if I'm gonna be using that jack so for now it's not going back on the trailer but now we get to tackle the bunks all right here we have the old bunks I think the wood inside of them is okay not the best but I don't want to have to buy treated lumber just to do two bunks so we're gonna take the carpet off of these, see what it actually looks like. And then we will be recarpeting it with some of the extra stuff I had from when I did the side bunks on my big boat trailer. Always need the right tool for the job. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. The wood looks okay. Um, it is kind of splitting down here, so I might drive a screw in to fix that one. But overall, I think the board looks good. And that's an interesting idea to lay sheet metal on there. <laughs> Here we go. The bunks are in the right spot. Looks really good. It feels so good to have this done. This was quite the project, but trailer is painted, rewired, lights are on, bunks are redone, and the boat sits perfectly on those bunks. I got it adjusted to the right spot. So here is the final rig. Wow, it looks good. There's one thing about this trailer that I do think I might tackle in the future, and that is the wheels. The paint's flaking off of this one and the spare of the other one's good. So I might repaint those in the future, but that's definitely not a today project. But overall, it looks really good. Alrighty guys, I think that's gonna be the end of today's video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, and I will catch you guys on the next one.